Okay, in this next video, what I want to do is look at how to use rounded uh, rectangular image images for, say, buttons. So we've got this one, which is perfectly fine, but you might want to have an example like this button. So this is one that I've made. It's a Fireworks PNG. So you can see if I open it in Fireworks, it's like this. If I uh, zoom that in a little bit, you will see that it's got this background, which is uh, basically it's, it's the transparency that we want. Okay, so this image, what I want to do is do a few things with this. Now, the problem that we're going to have with this is that when you put it in a button, a button has its own background. So my program at the minute actually has a background, this one, right, which is an image. So this won't work very well with a rounded background button, which is unfortunate because this rounded background button would probably look really nice just there with this background here. So there's no real way of fixing that um, without doing a whole lot of extra work. So um, the, what I want to just do is show you how to do this one. So this one I've called next button ALT. So it's the same size as the other button. So if I run that now, you can see it'll come up and it's hard to see because it's a bit small but you can see that I've got a sort of greyish background on that. Now that's because the button has its own background and I haven't set that. Now I've got text on it which I'm just going to take away because it'll probably look fine without that text right because it's sort of sitting there it's looking a bit weird. Um, but the next thing I want to do is maybe get rid of uh, the border. So to get rid of the border, it's BD, BD equals zero. And let's just, oh, left a comma off there. This is a common mistake. You say uh, BD equals zero, but then it's gone down to this point compound, but that doesn't work. So I need, it goes to the line, it's basically line before. So you might often come up with these things where you've just got a simple comma um, on the line before that's wrong. Right, so when I run the program now, now you can see it looks like it's more flat on here, okay? But the background's no good. Now, the the way to do it may be just to set a standard background. So if I did um, a color for the background, so let's say I just get a new document and I want to get um, a white background here and just have a look for a different color. So I'm going to say just like a light gray color. So this one here, which is all these, right? So copy that. And in my code, what I'm going to do is then set the background color for this button. So BG equals and then paste that in and then just make sure I've got those quotes around that. So on the other end, I just put those ones and then what I'm going to want to do is actually do the background uh, make sure I do a comma on the end of course do the background on that label which I set as my with my image here so instead of having this image for my background I'm going to do this do, take that comma away the background color so this image isn't doing anything at the minute that's not doing absolutely anything at all so that looks about right. Let's have a look and see if it works. Right, so now you can see the button does look pretty much like it is sitting perfectly there with that rounded rectangle. But as I say, your background has to be a solid color then, um, which isn't a problem. If you want a solid color, then you can do rounded uh, buttons. That, they do look pretty good actually whenever you've got them on there. So. That's the end of that tutorial.